how to rank on ChatGPT. In other words, how to be recommended or cited in ChatGPT. Because honestly, in these AI search engines, you don't really rank like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok. You are recommended. So for the keyword, or I guess for the search prompt, what's the best AI outworking tool? We are recommended or cited first. So how are we doing this? I'll give you, I can give you, even give you more prompts. So for example, what's the best AI, AI tool for SEO? There we go. Let's just wait for this to load. Okay, there we go. So as you see, we are again recommended up here. Now, how do we do this, right? How do we make sure AI search engines like Grok, GPT, I'll even show you here on Perplexity, we're also being recommended first. So what's the best, what's the best AI auto blogging tool? We will be uh, cited right here. This is a video of ours. For example, we, as a sources, see one of the sources right here is our own site and we are recommended here uh, as well, okay? So how are we doing this? Well, it's super simple. These LLMs, right, LLM stands for large language model, right? And the way we as users can interact with these LLMs is through products like ChatGPT, Perplexity, or even uh, Twitter's Grok, right, which is their AI, which also, by the way, recommends us and cites us for a bunch of different prompts. There you go. This is their, their AI. And all these, right, these are all ways in which we as users, I'll just show you again what, I, never mind, it doesn't really matter, we rank on this as well. Um, all these are just ways for us to interact with the LLMs. And the LLMs get info from the web. So any info that we feed to LLM is all scattered throughout the web, whether that's on your site, whether that's, for example, from a YouTube video someone recorded about us. For example, if I ask it, I'll even show you here, uh, what's the best AI tool for SEO? Um, it will give us, I think for this prompt, it will give us, not this one maybe, what's the best AI auto-blogging tool? Let me just show you this. This is done live, so that's, oh, there we go. This is the video right here. So it's taking an info from the videos, from our blog posts, from Twitter, from Reddit. By the way, just a quick note, Grok right here, most of their info, so, let me just, what's the best AI SEO tool? They, they put a lot, of, a lot more weight into social posts. Being um, GP, GPT right here because they're owned by Microsoft, well, they put a lot more emphasis in being rankings. So the recommendations and citations here, right, the way in which you recommend is heavily correlated with how your brand ranks for on Bing. Okay, because again, Microsoft, they're on this. Uh, Perplexity right here, they put a lot more emphasis on YouTube. Okay, they take info from YouTube and Grok right here from social. But all these right here, right, all these tools, right, they take in info from all these different places and they gather it up and based on your search prompt, they then provide you with what they think is the best answer for your prompt, whichever your prompt is. And so the way to be recommended and rank on these engines is to have as much info out there about your brand as possible on your site, for example, for, we asked it, what's the best auto AI auto blogging tool, right? He gave us our site as a site, as a source, because we have a blog post about this. So go out, produce content, produce YouTube videos, write stuff on your site. Make sure that your pages, right, you have feature pages. We have integration pages, for example, Shopify, right? We integrate with Shopify. So if we're looking for, if someone's searching for a Shopify AI SEO blog, well, some of these uh, AIs might recommend us because if they crawl our site, they know that they have all this info that we do X, Y, Z. We have feature pages. So people looking for features, they, the site crawls our, 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 the AI, excuse me, crawls our site and then is able to give out this info to the users. We have, like I said, a, a blog with, I think, over 18 pages of content these LLMs can use to then recommend and by crawling your site and recommend it to the users. So the trick here isn't any trick, is to have a good SEO, let's call it the classic SEO, so be well positioned on Bing, well positioned on Google, and then a good social presence, right? Be on YouTube, be on Twitter, be on LinkedIn, be on Facebook, Twitter specifically because um, Grok heavily, heavily values uh, Twitter posts. Of course, all these are biased. Not necessarily biased in terms of information, but biased in terms of the weight they put in into where they gather the information from. Hopefully that makes sense. And so this is just a trick. Have a good blog, write articles, and by the way, Quick plug, journalist I can help you write all these articles for you, right? By the way, it's, a, it's pretty cool. And there's a bunch more stuff like editing the content, linking, there's a bunch more stuff. But my goal isn't to sell you on journalist AI. Uh, it's just to show you how to how actually rank on, on AI search engines. So that's basically it. Have good classic SEO because the recommendations and the citations these guys will give you will be based off of rankings on the classic search engines, okay? And based off of the info they can gather from all these different places. So just because now people are using this to search 
and maybe that maybe means that they will not directly go to your blog post, right? Well, the info and the tools these AIs will recommend, right, will be based off of a blog post you wrote. So you still have to write it, right? You still have to produce the blog post to be able to, again, be recommended here first. We recommend it here, uh, I think, first as well. And, uh, damn it, in the, sorry, in the, in the video as well, so in here as well. So this is the way you, you're recommended, classic SEO. And for that, you can use this right here. And by the way, just a quick plug, we released a pretty cool, pretty cool tool, excuse me, that allows you to optimize your site even further. In essence, it allows you to tell AI search engines and regular search engines what your site is about. If you go here to blog automation, go to site optimizers, you can add an optimizer, which basically goes over, and analyzes your site, and then gives you recommendations based on what it thinks it should fix. So it gives you, listen, hey, here's your current page title, and here's what I think you should change it to. And it tells me the why. Hey, listen, I think you should change it from this to this, because it X, Y, Z. You can just hit apply, right, to automatically, automatically excuse me, have the AI agent apply the changes on your site. You can do this for page titles, descriptions, keywords, links, URLs, uh, and a bunch more stuff, images. And so basically, you can just have the AI select all these and then apply and have the AI change all of these for you. In essence, what it does is analyzes your site and based on reasoning gives you the, the ways it thinks you should optimize your site and then tells you the why and then you can either do it or not. Um, and these, these small things go a long way into being recommended into these search engines. That's it. Don't overcomplicate it. It's super simple. That's what we're doing and that's what's working. That's it. Like, subscribe. Check this out because it can help you with your SEO and a bunch more stuff and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.